High school softball teams hit the diamond in day two of the state tournament today. In Class 3A, the two-seeded Winona Windhawks face the three-seeded Mankato East Cougars in the semifinals. Let's start in the third inning. It is still scoreless. Cougars Kenley Staunton is up to bat, and that one is gone. For a home run, Mankato East is up one to nothing. And then Cougars Haley Petzl drills that one to the outfield. It bounces off the fence for a home run, extending the lead four to nothing. And in the fifth, Cougars Carly Wendinger is at the plate right here. Windhawks Avery Engbrecht with the catch. And she makes the throw to first for the double play. The Cougars are moving on to the championship game with the 5 to nothing victory over the Windhawks. The Cougars have a chance to win it all two years in a row tomorrow. It means the world to us that we get to have the opportunity to defend our state championship in the game. Like It's going to be great. And if we go back to back, that's going to be even better for us. Mankato East has Creighton Durham Hall in the championship game. And the Windhawks will face St. Francis in the third place game. In the consolation bracket of Class A, the Blooming Prairie Awesome Blossoms face the Red Lake Falls Eagles in the semifinals. In the fourth, Blooming Prairie's Ella Smith drills that one to the outfield for the team's first run of the game. The Eagles are up three to one. And then in the sixth, Eagles' Miley Coda makes contact right there. And it drops, adding another run to the board for the Eagles. Red Lake Falls is up four to one. And then in the same inning, Eagles, Shandy Nelson is up to bat, and that one is gone. For a three-run homer, Red Lake Falls got a convincing win, beating the Awesome Blossoms 9-1. to And the individual state tournament started this morning for boys high school tennis athletes. In Class A singles, Lord Evan Ritter is moving on to the semifinals. He will take on Winston Arvidsson from St. Paul Academy. And in doubles, Schaefer Academy's Ryder and Zimmerman are still alive, facing a doubles team from Foley in the semifinals. In Class 2A singles, Mayo's Tej Bagra advanced all the way to the semifinal match against Brandon Fahm from Mado Midai. And the singles semifinals kick off at 8 tomorrow morning. The doubles matches start at 2. And the state tournament kicked off today for high school track and field athletes. We talked about a few finishes in the class 3A prelims earlier in the show. Athletes competed in class single A tonight. In the boys 4x200 meter relay prelims, Caledonia Spring Grove got first. And GMLOKS Tate Gogurt finished first in the boys 800 meter. And in the boys 400 meter from Caledonia Spring Grove, Fisher Waite came in first. The Class 2A prelims get going tomorrow morning. And in the Northwoods League, the Rochester Honkers were back at Mayo Field tonight, hosting the Eau Claire Express. The Express are in orange here, and the, hon the Honkers are in white jerseys in the bottom of the first. Nico DeFazio with a single. His teammate touches home plate. The Honkers tie it all up at one. In the second, Express Hudson Deal drills that one to center field. Honkers Drevin Nushida is there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. The Honkers are up to bat here. Cooper Schwint places this one perfectly. For the single, the Express sweep the series with the Honkers with the 6-2 win tonight. 